if you don't submit assignment on time like if you don't bring something or you forgot your homework at home another beating for you welcome back to my youtube channel it's me your girl follow me and in today's video i am going to tell you guys a story and it's going to be about my nigerian high school experience so make sure you stay tuned like comment subscribe and share and let's get started so when i was in gs1 i was 10 years old i was just coming from primary 5 i didn't do primary 6 i skipped primary 6 so gs1 is like in nigeria gs1 in nigeria is like the eighth ninth grade here in canada so yeah i was just i was little but i was so smart like i was very smart so gs1 it went by pretty good you know i was passing my classes but in gs1 there was like a lot of drama coming from primary school i was really very stubborn i was very playful so yeah i was very stubborn and playful and when i got to js1 i carried that character with me so i used to get in fight in school because i just thought that i had to stand up for myself because i felt like these certain people were trying to bring me down I was, I was not having it i was small but mighty so yeah i used to get into fights and there's this teacher she told me that I, sh I need to stop fight so i was trying to avoid drama i was trying to avoid and i was still little but i knew a lot because 10 years old in gs1 that is like an advanced class so but you know in nigeria it's like when you are 15 you are done with high school but even without fighting even without playfulness like i was really smart i got first position in js1 i was the first place in my class yeah i was really very smart i was not good in mathematics then i hated math i hated math oh my goodness i hated math one of my favorite subjects in js1 was english i loved english like i was so good in english but even if even when i hated math i used to pass with like 70 something in exam so that was pretty good for me then so i had to stop getting a fight and just think about what am i doing what is it so yeah and then i moved to gs2 i was promoted to gs2 is it promoted <laughs> and yeah i was promoted to gs2 because i passed all my classes and in gs2 i was still very playful like so playful that even in primary school all my report card said she is smart she is intelligent but so playful she is intelligent but too playful from kg they've been writing that since my report card so in gs2 i got more rough i got more playful because and yeah the drama kind of should i say reduced i started getting close to those people i used to fight with in gs1 I started getting closer because some people left so some of our classmates left in JS1, so we had we just had to have each other's back because you know new people are coming and we old people had to just get along. Yeah, JS2, I was doing good too, and yeah, I passed my classes, but mathematics I was still getting 70s, 82 sometimes. Yeah, so it wasn't that good, but you know, I tried my best for like 11 years old. Yeah, I think in JS2 again, I got first place again, and in Nigeria, we have three semesters so there's term one term two and term three term one term two term three in gs1 i got first place all through and in gs2 i got first place i think first and second semester and then i got second place in third semester because this guy came from the u.s he came he moved back to nigeria and you know he has like higher so he passed me only that time so i think they now moved or something yeah they left in gs2 and i got my first place back so i was really doing very good i was doing very good in my classes i was no longer fighting but the roughness the playfulness was still there like it was bad i played so so much that my uniform that i used to wear to school got dirty almost every day like I was not the cleanest i can say i was not the cleanest i never got most clean girl in school i was one of the most playful tomboyish girls in school so because of my playfulness in js1 
I was known all over the school. Like I was smart too, but that playfulness, hey. So people knew me for my intelligence and the playfulness and noise making. Ah, I used to talk too much. Like I talked so much in class. I got in trouble. And in Nigeria, we have like the class captain writes names of noise makers. So my name is usually number one. Number one on the list. Like I can't just control. I talked so much that people were started calling me parrots. Yeah, so eh, I got in a lot of trouble and in Nigeria they used to beat us. If you if your name appears in the names of noisemakers, the teachers will beat you. <laughs> and what again? If you don't submit assignment on time, like if you don't bring something or you forgot your homework at home, another beating for you. So I got in a lot of trouble for playfulness, for noise making, for homework. I did pretty good in my homework session. I make sure that I don't forget my homework because I always do my homework every, every day. And in Nigeria, we used to take food from our house, to so bring it to school. And then, but there was a food vendor, like you can buy food in school. A person will be there cooking the food and, no, the person would have cooked the food and then they will bring it to school for students to come and buy. But I didn't really used to buy it because I just took money for snacks because I already had my food. So yeah, I used to share my food with my friends, you know, when they bring their own to from the woman that sells it. So I will not join them and eat. So in just two, it was like we got more closer. All of us got more closer. We used to share food. We used to play together, everything. About the exam section, like my experience doing exam in Nigeria. Um, exam almost always gave me anxiety like a potential want to kill me and you know in just one in nigeria schools we do like a lot of subject like in one day 10 13 subjects yes teachers teachers will come and teach you 13 subjects in one day guys just imagine that so it was like really a lot to learn for that exam week so most of the time I mean, I was not a fan of cramming. I just always read. I stayed up late to read so that I can understand. So that you know when you cram and you enter exam hall, yeah, so you now forget everything. You start scratching your head. But I always like read to understand. Sometimes I just crammed it in CRK class. CRK is like Christian religious knowledge. So we had we used to write like a lot in CRK class. The notes were so much. Like the woman, the woman during our break time the woman will be like please can i use more of your time we're like we well, have written like 10 pages we are tired please the woman will be like oh, just miss more notes and me i was one of those people that always wrote my notes i was i was a fast writer so anytime she was writing and the others didn't get it me i would have gone fast so they would come and collect my notes and then copy from my notes because i already i wrote so fast so so the, sometimes if the woman will call me that I should come and take a note, write it in my notes, and then give it to the other student that didn't get it. So in CRK class, for exams, I had to cram most times because the woman wanted us to write things the exact same way that she wrote them in her own notes. So most of the times I have to write them word for word in exam. I don't even know how I used to remember them. So one so one time the woman was like, ah, this baby man, she will give you everything you give her. She will, <laughs> she will write it word for word. That's why she's intelligent. I was just feeling myself. The exam was like 100 questions, 50 to 100 questions. Yeah, so and you now have theory. Part 1, A, B, C, D. Part 2, A, B, C, D. Oh God, it was so much like, whew. Man, I don't even know how I survived that, but it was really a lot. It was a lot. Oh, oh my God. It was hard. Like, Nigeria school is hard. You have to just be able to cope. That is why most of us that come from Nigeria, we are very advanced because we have gone through stress. We have gone through tough classes. We have gone through be beating of life. They beat us. <laughs> I'll get right into that. Like I said, I used to get in a lot of trouble. I was beating like almost every day for my stubbornness, noise making, playfulness, all of that. Just... And again, in Nigeria, your class, if your class is stubborn, or let's say that if one person does something wrong, it's the whole class that will suffer for it. So that's that about JS1. So in JS2, like I said, the character continued. I brought it over from primary school <laughs> to JS2. So 
I used to get in a lot of trouble and our class, we didn't used to listen, like we don't listen to teachers. We're the second stubborn in the school, in the whole school. So we got into a lot of trouble a lot of times. One time our class was making noise and then this teacher passed and she came into our class and was like, who was making noise? Nobody answered. So she said everybody knew down. And then one by one we had to be doing frog jump. You guys know frog jump, right? You hop. That punishment. We had to do it from one end to another end. We suffered there as a class. We really suffered. And me, I didn't used to cry when they beat me. Like when they beat me, I just used to chest it. If you're in Nigeria, chest means you take it, you don't cry. Like <laughs> so yeah, I used to take the care. It used to pay me, but it's not enough to make me cry. So most of the times the class would be like, well, let me go and take you first. Is it painful? So that was how the beating was in GS2 everything went well I got I was still getting good grades and over to GS3 that is GS3 is grade 8 yeah so GS3 we're like going over to the senior secondary school when I was in GS3 I was 12 years old I was still very playful noisemaker still getting first position my I was so smart and playful at the same time like you know when you can balance two things at the same time that people are like you're so playful, how are you getting good grades? Yeah, I was like that. I'm not bragging, but... So in GS3, we have to start preparing for the exam that will take us to the next level. Of like, that is like high school. Now we're high school, not middle school anymore. And in GS3, I was taking like 14 classes or so. Yeah, I was taking 14 classes. It was like a lot. The exam too was so tense. It was so hard. But I always studied for it, so I ended up passing every time. Mathematics, I always passed. Somehow, somehow, I used to pass. Yes, yeah, so one time, in the noise making aspect, one time the teacher was like, Okay, class captain, this is your assignment. Take names of noisemaker, write it down. So that day, I decided to just be quiet in my class. I was like, I'm not going to talk this time. Let me just be different. So she, the guy, handed her the teacher the paper and my name wasn't there she was like where's Kwelumi's name i was like i didn't talk what do you mean where's Kwelumi's name she was like Kwelumi's name has to be there it has to be number one there's no how this girl will not talk i'm like you can ask everybody i did not talk i did not talk then she told the class captain that he either has to write my name or take the cane for not writing my name i was like i did not talk you cannot be so she was like my name has to be there that I have to take beating, I have to be beat. So I was like, okay, oh, so she now beat me like two strokes of cane, and she gave the others like five. I don't know. So, and again, in my school, after a while, like they banned chewing gum, like you were not allowed to chew gum or bring any sweets that had gum in it, any candy that had gum in it. So, one time, I totally forgot, like, I was you're not supposed to even eat or eat in the assembly on the assembly like we usually had assemblies every morning all the students will come will gather around in a place and then we'll do praise and worship hymn songs we'll just talk like the vice principal principal will come and address the school and then they'll check your nails they'll check your hair to make sure you did the right style like they used to call styles for us every day every week I me mean, i had no cut i was always on no cut so I just had to make sure my hair was really low and we used to wear berets we used to cover our head so an assembly time they'll be like everybody all the girls raise up your cap let's see the hair that is under so me because i was on low cut i always escaped i didn't need to do the style they were doing so but i just had to make sure that my hair was short short so, and at the end of school like they'll check your nails they'll say everybody do your nails like this if it was long on your hands before we close i used to chew my nails like she quickly cut off because my nails grew so long but they cut so easily like they are so soft they can break just they, they break off so one time i forgot to cut them off and beep, 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 on my hand so we took the um exam that we're supposed to take to enter ninth grade that is ss1 i think i did 13 subjects so i got 10 a's and three 10 a's and three b's so that is a pass so so that's how my experience high school experience was and that was around the time i left so after the exam i had to i moved so i'm going to do uh another story time 
tell you guys where I moved to so stay tuned for that but this video is just for my high school experience in Nigeria is it high school? that's not even high school in Nigeria it's high school but here over here is like middle school so but my but my high school experience in Nigeria overall was so fun challenging stressful make sure you subscribe if you like this video give it a thumbs up like it please and share to your family your friends everybody let them know who Kwelumi is so that they can watch my videos guys thank you for 1000 subscribers thank you very much for everything and i'm going to see you guys in my next video from me it is see you again peace and love guys bye